beautiful scene at this conservatory in Kew Gardens, but these water hyacinths are considered harmful weeds in some parts of the world. In India, they're being harvested and turned into biofuel. The plants in fungal kingdoms are one of our most untapped resources in terms of biodiversity. Plants and fungi meet our everyday needs already in terms of food, energy, medicine, but there's real potential to tap this treasure chest even further to address our most urgent questions. According to the State of the World report, there are two and a half thousand plants that could provide clean energy for millions of people worldwide. Currently, only six crops are used. This is the difference between kids being able to do their homework at night because they have electricity to do it by, or women being able to walk safely in the community because they're streetlights for the first time. And it's not only in the field of clean energy where plants and fungi could play a role. 210 experts from 42 countries who contributed to this report say they could provide food and health solutions too. These are all types of the salvia plant, which is commonly known as sage. And early research here suggests that they may have compounds which would help people's cognitive functions as they age. And it is that type of research which experts here say is so crucial. Plants form the basis of many medicines that treat major diseases such as cancer and dementia. Over 700 of them are at risk of extinction. Most of the world's plants and also fungi um, have not been explored for their medicinal potential. So this is a huge um, untapped resource for future medicines. So we need to um, invest time and uh, scientific research to find the medicines of the future. Researchers also concluded the world is overly dependent on a tiny fraction of plants for crops, with new data suggesting over 7,000 edible varieties could be potential future foods. We're continually discovering new relatives of existing edible species. For example, some of my colleagues here at Kew are working on coffee in Ethiopia, where existing coffee species are severely threatened by climate change. But they're finding new wild relatives of coffee species which may be more suitable to grow commercially if the climate changes over future decades. The Q team say the report provides concrete evidence that the building blocks of life, plants and fungi, hold the keys to tackling some of the most serious challenges facing the world's population.